Hi GQ, what's up? It's Joe Jonas here. I'm going to go undercover from my home on the internet. This is actually me. Quora, we're going to Quora. Hmm, this says it's from Sophie Turner. Did Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner really get married by an Elvis impersonator in Las Vegas? Oh, I think this is the forum, Sophie Turner. I'm just gonna imagine my wife wrote this. Sophie Turner, yes, we did get married in Vegas by a Elvis impersonator. We had to get legally married in the States, so we thought it'd be really fun to get all of our friends, invite them out, and do an impromptu wedding. And we actually had some people that I didn't really even know that well there. Some people like I'm now closer with, but Khalid was there, that was pretty cool. And Diplo decided to live stream the whole thing, so thank you for that, Diplo. And with putting dog filters in our face. It's great. It kind of blew up in our faces because my parents called me the next morning and they were like, did you just get married? And I realized I told everybody, but I forgot to tell my parents. So kids out there, make sure you tell your parents when you're getting legally married. Posted. Is Joe Jonas allergic to spaghetti? Hell no. Yeah, I love spaghetti. And we've been making a lot of pasta dishes during this quarantine. Amoxicillin and penicillin I'm allergic to, and shellfish. I guess you could say I'm allergic to shellfish spaghetti. Next, how does Joe Jonas get along with his brothers? Well, we've learned to put family first and that's been really important for us. And also we've learned to respect when each other needs some time. And we have our own separate lives. So I think at this point we really miss the crap out of each other. It's been so long since I've seen these guys. On tour, we always try to take like an hour out of our day just to spend time together. And it reminds us why we're doing this. And, and whether if it's working out, having a meal, or just taking a walk, a bike ride or something, and seeing a city, I think that's helpful for people when they work together and it's always the same thing every day. Posted. Twitter. Joe is Kim, Nick is Courtney, and Kevin is Chloe. Yes or no? Uh, duh. Thank you at spud with eight d's at jonas wft ah oh, she didn't get wtf unfortunately but has sophie gotten sick and tired of joe being around 24 7. i'm assuming you're speaking about the quarantine we haven't gotten sick of each other yet we're actually enjoying our time together we i was on tour for so long 90 some cities and she was filming elsewhere so to actually be together and have this couple times important but i have to ask her Sophie, am I annoying you? We'll go with yes. What is your favorite song to perform? Love you, Joe Jonas, by the way. Love you too, Crystal. I'm assuming you're speaking about one of ours, the brother songs. I really enjoy singing Hesitate. It means a lot to me. But in general, Many Rivers to Cross is one of my favorites. It's a classic, and I like singing that sometimes. It's not one of our songs, but just for fun. Submit more Quora. Who has better vocals, Nick? Jonas or Joe Jonas? I mean, that really is dealer's choice here. I think Nick has a fantastic voice. I think Kevin. Where's Kevin here, huh? Next. What are some less known facts about Joe Jonas? I have Vanilla Ice's cell phone number and occasionally I like to prank phone call him. So now, you know, Vanilla Ice, that was me all these times. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to IMDB. Let's see what they got to say. Nicknames, Joe, JJ, DJ, Danger. Yeah, I guess that's kind of correct. Uh, there's other nicknames that I have. I mean, when I was in uh, middle school, I joined a new school and apparently there was too many Joes in the school. So this one kid decided that my new name should be JJ Jonas, which makes no sense. So JJ Jonas, we can add that to that nickname list. Before becoming a musician, he wanted to become a comedian. Actually, in Cup of Joe, I went on stage being encouraged by Tina Fey to go do some stand-up. Her advice for me was go on stage and tell the truth. The truth is always funny. So I tried my best. I've really enjoyed it. I want to continue it. I feel like everybody should try it at least once in their life. The nerves that you feel, it's really scary, but rewarding if you get one laugh. Next, fan of Britney Spears. <laughs> I like that that's there. That is true. My first... CD I ever bought myself was at a 7-Eleven and it was a Britney Spears album. Posted. Now we're gonna go to Instagram. Instagram always has really fun trolling comments. Let's see what we gotta find. All right, I shaved my face. Quarantine beard is no more. Slowly growing back. 
Renheimelfard. Renheimelfard. How does he manage to have a baby face just like that? I mean, what's his skincare routine? I have to be honest, I do have a filter on this picture. That filter did a lot of good to me in this photo. Yeah, I wash my face, a little facial fuel, make sure to moisturize, and uh, my wife likes popping any zit that might be on my face. She calls them spots. So if, if I pop a zit or a spot without her knowing, she's very mad. Next. All right, this is a post I did about the concert film that we just released. CNI Poc 588 says, wow, you guys definitely mean something to all of us. Great documentary with, I think those are welling eyes. I have a question. When they make your guys Hollywood documentary, because I can totally see this happening, what actor would you like to see play each of you? That's great. And I can answer for my brothers. I think that's, I think obviously Matthew McConaughey should play me. You know, I think Kevin deserves The Rock and Nick, Mark Wahlberg, because actually they kind of look alike. If Nick has a backwards hat and a tank top, he looks almost exactly like Mark Wahlberg. Okay. Reddit. Reddit's really fun. I love Reddit. Emily, this is the look I genuinely thought Joe Jonas was going to see me wear and fall in love with me in 2008. Oh, that's great. I mean, it is a strong look and, and the pose. That's really key. Looking good, Emily. Keep it up. Submit. We're going back to Twitter. All right, this is from Brianna is locked up with a pretty cool font on locked up. How many Lego sets have you completed, Joe? Wow, that's a tough question. There are quite a few Lego sets. Stranger Things set, two of the Hogwarts castle sets. We also have a few Lord of the Rings. We also have a roller coaster that we want to finish. I'm always confused if it's Lego or Legos, but I think it's correct the way you said it, which is just Lego, like Lego. Posted. This is from K Jonas. What was your favorite spot in the UK, Joe, from the Cup of Joe series? My favorite thing to do when I was in London, I took a penalty kick at a professional soccer stadium, or as they would say, football stadium. And that was really exciting for me. I actually got it in the net on the third try, and I would like to believe the guy was actually trying his best, but I don't know, I think he was going easy on me. <laughs> Submit. How different would the world be if Joe Jonas had been cast as Captain America instead of Chris Evans? Oh, um, I think the world would be a lot different. Probably Chris would be a lead singer of a band of brothers, and I would be carrying my shiny shield around the world, saving the day. This is from Tyler. The question is, at Joe Jonas, do you still have this outfit? You better believe I do. What do you think I'm wearing below here? Huh? Very comfortable. Next. This is from LizBiz08. Here's my question for later. This is for Nick, Joe, and Kevin. What are some things that you guys do to keep busy during this quarantine? This is my new favorite thing, is Zoom beer pong. And I really encourage everyone to try. You set up the cups closest to the camera. So that's the other player's cups. If that makes any sense. You probably could just Google it and find out the instructions way better than me. All right, we're going to YouTube. Let's check it out. This is a compilation video. It says the best of Sophie and Joe. I'd actually like to watch this. And this person asks, hey Joe, what's your favorite food and drink? I like that they assumed I was just gonna go into this and, and watch this and, and comment back, but I am actually doing it now. I do like a tequila soda. I have to say, I like my brother's tequila a lot and I'm not even a part of the company. So this is not a shameless plug here. This is a family plug. Villa One is delicious. And my favorite food, I'm allergic to spaghetti, so I can't eat that, but I do like, I'll go with pasta, lasagna. Posted. More from IMDB. He has German, English, Scottish, Irish, Italian, Sicilian from a great grandfather. French, Canadian, and Cherokee Native American ancestry. Wow, that's, how do they know all this? I don't think it's Scottish is correct. I don't think it's French Canadian, I think it's French. Unless somebody like took a glass that I was drinking and swabbed it and then sent this in and you actually know what my uh, ancestry actually is. All right, moving on. Collected G.I. Joe action figures and pens as a child. I'm always so curious how people find this information out. And this is on IMDb. Such a weird place for this information to be. I don't think this will help me at all get a, a movie role or TV show, but I don't know, maybe G.I. Joe will call one day. Uh, I did collect G.I. Joes and I collected a lot of Pokemon cards. 
I was more of a fan of Pokemon than getting a girl's number because I remember when I was younger, the prettiest girl in school had a really rare card. I tricked her into switching for a really unrare card. Favorite movie is School of Scoundrels. Wow, this is dated. We need to update this. His favorite band is Switchfoot. I do love Switchfoot, but this is obviously from a long time ago. His favorite singer is Johnny Lang. I like Johnny Lang. Um, I think currently, my favorite movie, I'll go with uh, Back to the Future. One. Actually, I think, I think two is actually better than one. I also think Home Alone 2 is better than one. I think all the threes were pretty. Okay. I like Switchfoot, but we will update that too. You know, I, I love Coldplay's new album. I'll go with Coldplay. His favorite singer is Johnny Lang. His favorite singer, uh, I'll go with Frank Sinatra. But I like Johnny Lang too. Submit. Well, that's it. That was fun. I hope your questions have been answered correctly or to your satisfaction. Signing off the internet.